Should We Call Preachers Reverend or Father? This issue deals with religious titles, and Jesus addresses that in Matthew, the 23rd chapter, verses 8 through 12. We are not to be called rabbi, for we have one teacher, and all ye be brethren, Jesus said. We're not to call men father upon earth, for we have one father, and he is in heaven. We're not to be called masters, for we have one master, and that is Christ. Jesus is not saying that we cannot recognize people in these situations in our lives, for we have teachers in Acts the 13th chapter in verse 1, it was in the church at Antioch, Barnabas was one of them. We'll find Paul addressing fathers to not provoke their children, in Ephesians 6 and verse 4, we're seeing in a context of obeying your parents that you to honor your father and your mother. In Ephesians the 6th chapter and verse 1, even the Apostle Paul spoke of himself as a father in a spiritual sense when he said that you do not have many fathers, for I beget you through the gospel. Paul was recognizing that he was a spiritual father. And we'll notice in Ephesians the sixth chapter and verse nine that in New Testament times men had masters in the flesh. So masters, teachers, fathers, the Bible recognizes those places in society and even in a religious sense. But the point is, is that these titles were being condemned. Why? Notice that he says we're not to be called rabbi, for we have one teacher, and all ye be brethren. Religious titles tends to separate us from one another, and that's what Jesus condemns. We're all brethren. There's not this idea of the clergy and the laity. And when we speak of these titles, we're sometimes recognizing that, well, you're different from us. No, we're all brethren, and therefore we should avoid these religious titles, even though we recognize the work of one being a teacher. Secondly, we have only one father, and we have only one master. These religious titles separate us not only from brethren, but we take on that particular title that's reserved for God. Jesus is our master. Father is reverend, and that is God. In Psalm 111 and verse 9, we'll notice that it is indeed the Father who has redeemed his people. He's commanded his covenant forever, and holy and reverend is his name. Notice the only time in the Bible, according to the King James translation, that we observe reverend, it is describing God. So religious titles are wrong on the basis of two reasons. They separate us from one another, and they take on a title that is reserved for God and Him alone.